Welcome back to Living It Away. Every October, we shine a spotlight on domestic violence. It's an issue that affects every community, so spreading awareness about the problem and how you can help is part of the solution. Domestic Violence Awareness Month is a very important month for those of us working to address the problem of domestic violence. Community agencies, elected leaders, law enforcement, courts, uh, businesses, clergy, teachers, all have to understand the seriousness of the problem of domestic violence. And we use the month to shine a spotlight on the problem of domestic violence and encourage everybody to understand that it impacts all of us and that there's a role everybody can play. Domestic violence is a big problem here in Hawaii. It is not bigger here than anywhere else. It's a problem that is recognized across the globe as something that communities and resources must be devoted to, to provide healthy, whole, safe families because the impacts are multifaceted. If I am a child growing up in a home where there's domestic violence and I suffered trauma, I may uh, start numbing my pain with drugs and alcohol. So as a community, if we have a problem with substance abuse, often, most often, we can connect it to the roots from where that child came. If I'm a business person and I have survivors who are employees, they're bringing their domestic violence with them to work. That's a cause for concern. Uh, productivity might be down. It's a health care issue. People are showing up at their health care practitioners, maybe with chronic stomach problems or insomnia or high blood pressure, all of which, again, can be connected to the trauma that they're experiencing or the harm that they're experiencing as a victim of domestic violence. Men are allies in our community to address domestic violence. As one of my uh, male allies says, domestic violence is a man's issue. Most perpetrators are men, and that makes it a man's issue. So we're going to start with the men's march. Of course, we're going to do it a little differently uh, because we're still abiding by uh, guidelines to keep the community well and safe. Uh, we are going to have a mural painted at the University of Hawaii by the well-known artist Solomon Enos. Uh, we are going to broadcast a television show produced by KHON called Peace for Everyone. It will be on October 21st, 8 p.m. And we are going to be featuring all of our social media, e-blast, communications around the ways our community can support community efforts to address domestic violence. It's very important for people to recognize that this is a problem that does not discriminate. This is not a problem. Domestic violence is not a problem that happens to certain kinds of people and certain kinds of families. All of us must be uh, well informed about it, responsive when we have concerns, when we notice red flags, reach out to somebody with a listening heart. Not everybody has to be an expert, but if they know that there are community programs available to help, guide them to us. There are ways to invest in the work that all of our communities, agencies are delivering to the community. You can go to any of our websites. The Domestic Violence Action Center is www.domesticviolenceactioncenter.org. Uh, you can uh, train and uh, educate your staff if you're an employer or you're an HR professional. You can make sure that your team knows what to do if somebody is suffering the harm of abuse. Not everybody calls the police, but they may go see their uh, doctor or nurse or community clinic. At that point, if they are able to disclose uh, the harm or the danger they're facing, that person can provide them uh, information, a warm handoff for support, do some safety planning. Everybody takes a different length of time to make these difficult decisions and assess the level of danger that they're in and figure out what their best uh, pathway forward is. My journey might be different than your journey. The Domestic Violence Action Center is celebrating our 30th anniversary. It is a really big milestone for the community as a whole. There's no way that the Domestic Violence Action Center could have done this alone.
And so the community has really been with us. We've had laws passed, we've had training conducted, we've had public awareness campaigns uh, produced and uh, broadcast. Businesses have joined us, uh, UH has joined us, athletics have joined us, coaches, healthcare practitioners. So together, we have moved closer to a place where when someone is suffering the harm of abuse, they can talk about it and they can ask for help. It still often happens behind closed doors, but there are more permissions to talk about it. But we're continuing to work with the rest of the community in uh, overcoming those judgments and those misconceptions. We've had the generous support of Peggy Hopper. She uh, gave us an image that we could imprint on pouches. And we have produced uh, pouches that are merchandise for sale for the community to support us and to recognize the 30th anniversary. We've used this same image on um, a beach towel. Again, these are ways for us subtly as a community to associate hope and the promise of a safe future with the help that's available and the healing that's possible. If people want to support us in our life-altering work for island families, or if they need help, we invite them to go to our website, domesticviolenceactioncenter.org. Our helpline number is 531-3771. In addition to our website and helpline, we added the chat capacity and a text capacity for people who are unable to make a telephone call. Our text line is 605-956-8560. Uh, you can reach us if you need us 24 hours a day, seven days a week. DVAC celebrating 30 years. So many voices in this. We're going to hear a lot of them throughout the month since it is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. Good stuff. Nancy's always great to talk to. Um, and she's dedicated her life to helping. Absolutely. Absolutely.